Hey everyone, Sunny Charday here and I am back with another Filipino mukbang. Team Pakaan, are you still out there? Let me know in the comments below. I haven't done a Filipino mukbang in a while, but I've been wanting to do this one because months ago, months ago, I saw a video on Chef Rafi's channel about Maranao cuisine. And this is food that I'm not familiar with. He made piaparan, which is this coconut turmeric spicy dish and it looks so good so i'm going to try and recreate it today plant-based though vegan though and if you haven't checked out his channel please do i always find his videos so interesting because a lot of it is food that i've never even heard of not just filipino food but he does other types of cuisine as well so anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by making some seitan and see how the rest of this goes. Oh, he's just creeping from above the fridge. Okay, so this is the Vital Wheat Gluten brand that I like to get. I'm just going to pour two cups of this into the bowl. Actually, this is two and two thirds cups. I just decided to use the whole bag. And this is eight cups of water. I'm just gonna make some veggie broth. I'm not exactly sure how much I'll need right now for the seitan. I just filled it up to the pot. So I'm gonna add eight teaspoons of the better than bouillon veggie broth. Then I'm going to season this with some paprika, just because I really like paprika. Some white pepper. Onion powder. And garlic powder. And then add some chickpeas, which I put in the food processor. And then add the veggie broth. And then eventually you'll want to do this, knead it by hand. Okay, since I used a little bit of the vegetable broth for the seitan, um, I added more water so that I can put the seitan in here and boil it so that it's cooked. And I'm just going to add some shallots, just for some flavoring. My seitan has rested for a bit, so I'm going to make smaller chunks of it to put in the broth. Then I'm going to add the seitan to the broth and I'll let this simmer for a while because the seitan will expand. So I'm just using seitan because I like it and I just want to take a break from soy products but if you don't like it, you could probably use potatoes. That would be super good I feel like or carrots, any sort of root vegetable would be really good with this. I also don't have fresh coconut, so I'm going to use this flaked coconut and rehydrate it. I'm just going to put the flaked coconut in a bowl. Now I'm just going to pour the hot water over it. Okay, so I let the coconut get soft and I'm going to add turmeric to it. And next, I'm going to add some palapa, which is this spicy, savory condiment. It's a little bit sweet. This version I got online based off of Bad Saints recipe. So I'll put a link to that recipe in the description below. And it's super spicy. So I think I'll just add one, well, maybe one and a half. Let's see, one and a half scoops of this. I just took out the seitan, it's been boiling for an hour. So now I'm gonna get a clean pan and add some oil to it. Add some shallots, garlic, and red bell pepper. After you sweat the aromatics, now it's time to add the seitan. Add a little bit of coconut milk. And then add the coconut mixture. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It's just so aromatic, smells spicy, savory. I can smell the turmeric. I. <laughs> I kept the palapa here in case I needed more, but I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty spicy because I can already feel it in my eyes. 
And then I just have this Arizona green tea. I just put it in a little cup. And I have my bowl of takigomi rice. <laughs> it's basically just a mixed rice. I added carrots here just so that I could up my veggie intake. You know what I mean? I mean, you're supposed to eat this with plain rice, but I just like to add veggies to my rice. So, I'm gonna take another sip. <laughs> because it's just so hot and oh man I've been cooking up a storm all right let me just taste with the, the coconut and the seitan just all together Holy crap! It's just... <laughs> it's kind of like curry, but there's just so many flavors just involved in here. I actually think I will add a little bit more palapa. I tried palapa on its own and it's like, oh, it's like super spicy. But I think maybe with this it'll be okay. Gosh, this wooden spoon. <laughs> I've been using the wooden spoon because it doesn't make that much noise on, on like the pans and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just sweating over here. Because <sighs> like from cooking on the stove and then how spicy this is. <sighs> I've never really had a Filipino dish like this. Which is why I'm super happy that I discovered it because I'm just always looking for new food. don't get me wrong I, I love Filipino food but I feel like especially at parties and stuff it's usually the same sort of rotation you know but nothing like this like it's never really spicy well I think my dad's called it I thought it's spicy but it's not <laughs> it's not like this at all I'm sorry I'm just very very happy and pleased <laughs> with this dish I kind of had an idea of what it would taste like just because of the turmeric but I was not really expecting this oops this amount of flavor
I don't usually eat like this. <clears throat> I try and be really, uh, not polite, but, well, I guess it is polite. <clears throat> and not eat too messy. But one, I'm starving. <laughs> this is like my first meal of the day. I mean, earlier, I just kind of had like a, a supplement sort of drink for breakfast. But as I was cooking this and just smelling everything, it just made me even hungrier. And to taste it now. Oh my gosh. I should have cut these peppers a little bit more, but it's okay. Let me know in the comments below if you've had this dish before and how you like to make it. To my understanding, <clears throat> it can be made with chicken, shrimp, I don't know, probably anything. I mean, I made it with seitan. And this, by the way, the seitan is pretty good. <laughs> Seitan's always good when you make it yourself because you can season it however you want. It's just really good. Okay, it is kind of in frame. <clears throat> I can move this a little. Ooh. Oh, spicy. Move this a little bit more, but man, the palapa is like I feel like I can put it on anything. Oh. I feel like I could have put one more scoop. That was close. I forgot, I forgot to top this more with green onion, but <clears throat> I used most of the green onion for the balapa. I did have some, or I do have some dry onions, but I forgot about it. It's okay. Oh my gosh. I think just <clears throat> having my face close to the balapa is making it water. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, that is all I can do for now. <clears throat> I feel like I became all crazed and everything while I was eating this. Sorry again, I'm usually not this messy, but... <sighs> Damn. <sighs> oh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Maybe not as much, maybe not as crazy <laughs> like me, but... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more mukbang, cookbang, and vlogs. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this recipe, if you're going to try it, if there's anything else you want me to try and make. Leave it in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'm super active on there, so you'll get more of my latest updates there. And with that, I will see you all next time. Bye!